It was in 2016 when an image surfaced on the internet in what appeared to be a white woman given a little skinny child water and snacks. There's a higher chance that you might have seen this image somewhere because the image went so viral that it generated a whole lot of conversations, confusion and conspiracies. But most people however do not know what exactly happened in that image and also the transformation of that emaciated little boy. Well, I advise you do not skip any part of this video because we are about to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. We have 2.3 million wishes and wizards in Aquibum. 2.3 million. Witch hunting is still very strong in some parts of Aquaribom state in Nigeria. And anyone allegedly found guilty will mostly be subjected to severe and cruel punishments such as lynching, burning, banishing, and even death. Children, however, are not immune to this treatment. They are often left to die on the streets out of malnourishment and denied all their basic rights, including education. As no school admits a child labeled a witch, it has been said that this practice is usually motivated by profit and the beneficiaries, which do doctors and some religious leaders and this is how it works the parents or the family members of the accused are to pay a certain amount of money for exorcism or the accused is abandoned for the necessary action to be taken most parents opt to abandon or surrender their child either because they are incapable of paying the said amount or they simply refuse to pay this poor child's parent chose to abandon him and for eight solid months he just survived on scraps from the garbage and passes by little did he know that on 30th january 2016 his savior was to come Anya Regren Loven. Anya is a Danish aid worker poised to save lives in Nigeria. She had to rush to the scene upon receiving a call later that day and to her surprise, she came face to face with this skinny little almost dead child covered in dust. Anya's heart instantly melted like ice and at once she knew that this child has to be rescued and no matter the consequences. She wasn't wrong. The people gathering at the scene who seemed friendly at first started becoming hostile and didn't want the child to be rescued anymore. However, Anya and her team with the inclusion of her husband David managed to get the little boy into the van and drove away. This I say is the beginning of a remarkable journey of inspiration that is about to change lives and I'll soon tell you why. The little child was immediately sent to the hospital and had different kinds of procedures administered, including a blood transfusion. Despite all the treatment, he had only about 10% survival rate and nothing seemed to go right. Anya and her team, including David, thought he would not survive. But out of desperation, Anya named him Hope. Aside the literal meaning of the name, Anya believed it is only honorable for everyone to have an identity before leaving this world. Sadness was all they felt at this point. But today surprise hope was actually recovering slowly and steadily and even made a new friend david jr david jr is the son of anya and david since their first encounter hope and david jr have been best friends since after three months hope gained full strength and recovery and didn't look like that skinny little child anymore anya being so proud and excited of her achievement didn't hesitate to share this story to the world and within seconds the story went viral all over the internet gathering a lot of traction and and donations around the world to the African Children's Aid Education and Development Foundation, a non-profit organization founded by Anya to rescue the supposed witch children in Nigeria. She received over $1 million as a result of this touching story. Upon receiving the donations, Anya and David built an orphanage called the Land of Hope. Since then, many children accused of witchcraft have been saved and given food, shelter, clothing, education, health, love, and care. Land of Hope is a big family of rescue children of which Hope himself is part of. However, on August 1st, 2022, Anya shared a Facebook post of a man standing next to Hope. It happens that after six years of search, Hope's father was found. He seemed very happy and couldn't wait to share the picture of his father to his friends back at the orphanage. But then the story took a darker turn when Hope's mother was found in the year 2023. She was 15 years old at the time she gave birth to Hope. And can you guess the age of Hope's father? A whopping 50-year-old man and the village head at the time. 
Hope's mother was a child herself and couldn't be blamed for what happened. However, Hope was very excited to reunite with his family and forgive them for all that has happened. Nonetheless, Hope still stays with Anya at the orphanage but visits his family from time to time. And Hope's mother is also being supported by the orphanage as she is very young with no education. The story of Hope is one that has inspired so many people and restored faith in humanity and with his radiant smile a symbol of hope. The world can indeed be a better place when we come together to make it work. But we shouldn't also forget that even though this story puts a smile on our faces, there are many children out there going through what Hope had gone through. Thank you for watching. I'm sure you will like the next video too.